Kamala Harris's position can be considered dangerously naive and a threat to public safety. Her moral beliefs and quest for deeper social reform will be highly appreciated. Trying to look part of this movement, and it's not just a moment, it's a movement standing on the shoulders of the movements before. Part of this has to be about changing the system, rehauling the system, upending the system. And, and, and so that piece of it, you're right. Under this attorney general, I have no hope for it being implemented. But God willing, he will be out of that office shortly. And then we need to have a requirement that that office do the right thing going forward. So then if you're for overhauling, where do you stand on defund the police? Look, I, I, right. So here's the thing. Defund the police. The, the, the issue behind it is that we need to reimagine how we are creating safety. And when you have many cities that have one third of their entire city budget focused on policing, we know that is not the smart way and the best way or the right way to achieve safety. For too long, the status quo thinking has been you get more safety by putting more cops on the street. Well, that's wrong. Because, by the way, if you want to look at upper middle class suburban neighborhoods, they don't have that patrol car. They don't have those police walking those streets. But what they do have, they have well-funded schools. What they do have is home ownership, high home ownership rates. What they do have are thriving small businesses. What they do have is access to public health and mental health services. So this whole movement is about rightly saying we need to take a look at these budgets and figure out whether it reflects the right priorities. Kamala Harris's support for the defund the police movement can be seen as a controversial and damaging act. The public prioritizes law and order and believes that a sufficient budget and strong police force are essential to maintain public safety. Remarks suggesting that redistributing police budgets or that more police do not guarantee more safety are interpreted as dangerously naive and out of touch with the realities of crime and public safety. The public deems her unfit for office because her position undermines the basic principles of public security and law enforcement. However, Kamala Harris's stance reflects a deeper meaning and motivation. Her remarks call for a reimagining of institutional change and social priorities. Harris aspires to address the root causes of crime and inequality by investing in education, healthcare, and community services. Her vision aligns with social justice and structural change, advocating for a shift from reactive policing to proactive community investment. Kamala Harris's support for defund the police taps into an important and emotionally charged national debate. She frames the issue as a need to reimagine safety, aiming to shift the narrative towards proactive community investment. By highlighting the disparity between resource-rich suburbs and under-resourced urban areas, she evokes empathy and highlights injustice. This approach resonates with progressive viewers who prioritize social equity and institutional reform. However, there is a risk of alienating those who consider basic policing an essential part of safety. The public response to Kamala Harris's support for defund the police is likely to be polarizing. Progressives and social justice advocates may see her position as courageous and necessary to address institutional inequality. Conversely, others who prioritize basic law enforcement may find her stance reckless and detrimental to public safety, criticizing it for lowering police morale and promoting a lawless environment.